Uh, yes, another Hidden Features video, this time on the 2022 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. Now this one's a little bit different for me because as you guys know, I am the Jeep Grand Cherokee guy, you know, here on YouTube. But this is going to be a little bit different for me because we are jumping into the Jeep Gladiator and then hopefully soon jumping into the Jeep Wrangler and hopefully just showing the entire Jeep family uh, here on the channel. It's going to be great. So stay tuned. If you're not already subscribed, click the subscribe button down below right now. Now I know a lot of people are probably going to be looking for Easter eggs in this video. So I'm going to start the video off there so you guys can go ahead and skip to the next chapter if you guys aren't looking for any kind of Easter eggs. Now I'm not going to go over every single one in this video, but if you do want me to go over that in a specific video and just find all the different easter eggs and show you guys all their different locations and let me know down in the comment section down below and of course comment down below what you guys find tell me what you guys see and uh maybe you guys have a hidden one that i've never even seen but i'm going to talk about a lot more hidden features that are actually going to be usable in this video rather than just easter eggs that are cool to see and cool to look at now i don't know that you'd classify this one as a hidden feature i would say this is just a, one of those little easter eggs and something that's cool but if when you start it up here you're going to actually notice on the little jeep thing it transitions into a nice little uh, gladiator there uh, which is pretty cool it's a little a little Easter egg kind of thing which I think that's something that makes Jeep uh, differentiate itself from the competitors is all the little Easter eggs and you know throwback kind of things that are all throughout the Jeep now I'm sure a lot of you guys know about this one here but if you go ahead and pop open the back door you'll notice right up here there's gonna be a little spot for a lock which is a little bit interesting because you might be wondering why that's there I mean most people like I said probably know this and the dealer might have told you this so I know you guys are gonna get mad down in the comments and say how are these hidden features it says it in the manual uh, this and that there's going to be some in here that i'm sure the manual you would have to dig through all the way and you know good for you if you want to read the manual but 99.9 .9 of people nowadays don't want to read the manual why would you not why but like just watch an entertaining video come watch bjp lifestyle that's what i'm here for baby but yeah of course down here on the inside you're gonna have some nice storage you have a little spot where you can put some stuff and there's just a little storage tray down here now this is intended to be a lockable spot so you can actually go ahead and uh, utilize this little guy right here uh, which is going to lock on to this baby here. But it's going to lock on right here, and that's where you can actually lock it. So this little spot right here, flip open your key, and boom, you are able to use this key to lock that in this one little location. That way, whatever you store back here, if you have the uh, the roof off, or if you just have you know the, the just the middle top, whatever, just to, if there's access into your Jeep, and you don't want people to access something, you can lock it up back here. That's basically what it is. Another weird little hidden feature and like thing that I don't even know why this is like this, but I've seen it, it's, it's on every single one so you guys can see the outside here. Not sure on this specific paint code, but it's this nice gray metallic kind of color. It might be like granite metal. I don't know, I'm not sure. But uh, you can see that this guy is a completely different color. Um, I'm not sure again the paint code on this one either but uh yeah this is a very common thing i don't know if it's always this color on every single one or what the difference is but i do know that this is a common thing on all of the gladiators might be it on the wranglers i don't know couldn't tell you don't know but we're just gonna move to the next one now as we're on the back seat of the jeep let's just go let's just go ahead and jump in on the other side and go ahead and pull this side down so now if you pull this side down you'll notice this little slot right here now this one is just a little storage slot but if you guys do have the specific uh, package you guys can actually get a bluetooth speaker that goes here now would i recommend you getting that i think so i've heard a lot of really good things about it so if you guys are in the market for one or i'm pretty sure you could upgrade this if you want to see that video let me know down below i'm sure i can make it happen and go ahead and upgrade this i'm sure it's a simple swap but i would recommend it because if you guys do have that speaker there it's really cool and it can pop out uh, a lot of people don't really know where it is like you might even have the option on your jeep you don't even know you have it so if you do have that option uh, that's where it'll be you can pop that out and you'll have a nice bluetooth speaker that actually charges when it connects in there uh, a lot of people use it in their own house because it actually sounds really good and you know it's actually a pretty decent speaker which is pretty cool you know that's nice benefit jeep nice benefit now if you lift this guy up over here you'll see that you have your little storage and on this side there's nothing really cool going on but let's go ahead and hop to the other side on this side there's going to be something that's a little bit better for you let's push that stuff out of the way and uh if we pull this up here you can notice this little kit set up down here so down here we've got all the different things that you guys might have your doors uh this is the little windshield pieces 
Uh, over here, you've got uh, the, the doors again in the roof. I don't know, but all the different parts when you do remove your uh, your top, your roof, the front little roof piece. When I say roof, that's what I'm talking about. Or if you remove the top here, or if you just go ahead and remove like the windshield or the doors or whatever. This is actually a little hardware storage kit that actually is set up specifically for you to put your stuff in. This is kind of cool because a lot of people probably don't pay attention to these kind of things, but you can actually take this out and you're good to go. Put all your different bolts in and then you can have a nice little storage spot that it can securely lock in down here and just click back into place and boom, you're good to go. You know where all of your hardware is. You don't have to worry about it or fight with it anymore. Uh, you guys may run into this issue. So obviously this is something that Jeep thought about because once you take this top off and the roof off and the doors off and everything, it's gonna get you know a little bit windy in here. It might be a little issue. So there's this little clip right here on the side by the door. Now, if you take this and you can just go ahead and slide it into there you guys will see that it locks it in. So the essential uh, situation is you would utilize this so that you're not flapping around basically. Uh, you don't want this to be flapping. It's gonna make a ton of noise, especially if it's bouncing around back here and stuff like that. You can uh, move it to different positions or whatever and kind of figure it out for yourself. But there's a little clip there which most people don't know about or utilize because if you do have that issue, you might be looking for a way to fix it. And guess what? It's already built in on the 2022 Jeep. Who would have thought that they might've actually done something good on you Jeep? Cause that's another Another nice benefit and i mean while i'm back here guys it is nice and roomy full review of the jeep coming soon i want you guys to check this one here out so when you go into your actual dash display here do you know what happens if you double tap this little mute button right here let's let's just see it doesn't do anything. It seems like every single one of these videos, I do my research, I look all kinds of things up and people lie to me. I saw a bunch of people saying that if you double tap the mute button, it would bring up the backup camera, which maybe it does, but not on the 2022 Jeep Gladiator. So if you have a 2022 Jeep Gladiator, don't even try it because it's not going to work. I don't know how. I don't know why. Now let's jump inside here and talk about a few features that are kind of hidden setting type of things that are built into the Uconnect system. I also want to throw in that if this is not the clearest camera that I've ever seen on a backup camera, I don't know what they're using on this one, like the 2022 versus like a 2018 even. I don't know. Maybe it's just this specific Jeep has the craziest thing I've ever seen. I don't know. It's insanely clear though. So uh, that's crazy. And it appears that you can zoom in. Now this is like those weird kind of hidden features that might not be considered a hidden feature, uh, but they are kind of hidden in the settings a little bit. And a lot of people don't know about them. So I'm going to go ahead and throw them into this video. So hopefully it can help some of you guys out that did just pick up a Gladiator or maybe a similar system that uh, maybe a Wrangler, I guess, or Jeep in general. Uh, but if you go into your settings and then doors and locks, you can sound horn with lock and also sound horn with remote start. So if you don't want it to beep and when you're starting it you want it to be a little bit more quiet that will work and you can disable the horn you can also go ahead and change so it's first press of key fob unlocks driver door to all doors uh, i did have the issue on mine as well as this one that it only unlocked the driver door and that counts when you press the little door handle button or put your hand behind it whatever kind of system it is you know it's it's the same uh you want it to be able to unlock all the doors so that people can get into your vehicle now if you're on screen one here and you click up on the little arrow keys here and you click up you'll go into screen setup where you can then press ok to enter screen setup now you can change the upper left you can change the upper center as well as the gear display so you can have it actually display your gear you guys can set it up however you want i'm sure you guys probably are going to have your own preferences but a lot of people don't know you can really customize that and get in and do all kinds of different settings because you know, why would you mess with that? I guess I don't, a lot of people don't, but it is a really cool feature that I only recently learned about even in my Jeep. And like I said, it's gonna be across the board, Wranglers, Gladiators, Grand Cherokees, probably like compasses maybe, I don't know. But yeah, guys, that's gonna be the hidden features I think on this Jeep. I'm sure there is a ton more. I was definitely having a hard time finding a ton of really good ones for this vehicle. So hopefully you guys down in the comments, I want this to become a meeting place, a huge community meeting place for the Jeep Gladiator, for the Jeep Wrangler, all that kind of good stuff for you guys to let other people know about things you guys have found as far as hidden features and things that other people might not know or might not be shared throughout the community that much or just are hard to find you know if you read the manual yourself go be an encyclopedia down there and share some knowledge with us because i'm always trying to learn and like i said this is just a really fun little content type that i really enjoy making on the channel so without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and close this video out with a peace i'll see you guys later make sure you do subscribe thanks for watching peace it be the one that ain't got nothing to do got to say it be the one that say that finish shoot gonna run away i'm gonna be the one that take my people at the gutter, baby. I won't stop.